lot of videos in because I guess um, I didn't really realize that I had a week until I left. I mean, I did know because, I mean, countdown has been on, I guess. But today I'm on my way to go see my recruiter for my seven day check in. I made a lot of videos last night of me reading books of my, to my kids, or to anybody that's listening, really, I guess, but, um, and half of them didn't upload, Ugh. so I'm gonna have to get home, turn on the Wi-Fi on my phone, and try to upload the rest of those videos. I mean, I know that you guys don't care, but... This is mainly for my kids, and if anybody else decides that they want to watch the videos for any reason, then it's there for anybody else to watch too. Highly doubt they're going to want to watch a bunch of little kid books, me reading a bunch of little kid books. Anyway, so today I am on my way to see my recruiter, Petty Officer Jansen. Uh, not the last time. I will go see him again gosh, next Tuesday, I have to check in and go to the hotel, and then go to boot camp on Wednesday, so I have a very busy next week, I think it's going to fly by, and you know whenever you're, like, dreading something, kind of, I'm not dreading leaving, but you know when you're dreading something, and time, like, flies by, and whenever you're really wanting something to happen, time just like drags its ass. So I'm in that time is flying by stage right now because I've planned so much stuff in the next week that, and I think I may have subconsciously done it so that I didn't really have to think about leaving, but tomorrow. I have to go get my husband's birthday present. I can't say what it is in case he watches these videos. Because um, I just told him last night that I was making these videos for the boys or for whoever. And because he was sitting in the bedroom while I was reading the books and I felt like a doofus. But, so I can't tell you what his birthday present is. <sighs> But I'm very excited. Very excited. I think he's going to like it. Or he could be really pissed about it. Either way. I think he's going to like it. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then I have PT with my debt program tomorrow. Debt. D-E-P. Debt program tomorrow. Um, and then Friday. It's going to be an exhausting day, I'm sure. Because... I have a um, playgroup with my mom friends that I've made over the past year and a half, almost two years. And I'm sure that's going to be, I mean, it's going to be fun to see like our kids play and stuff, but it's also going to be fairly emotional, I would think, especially when I got time for everybody to go home. I just want to think about it. So, um, then Saturday... Saturday, I have got to get ready for the party on Sunday. We're having a birthday party for Thomas, my oldest son. He's going to be three. For my husband, and then a going away party. So it's like one big party for everybody. And um, I have to get ready for that on Saturday. So then we're having a big party on Sunday. Aaron is coming into town. Oh, I forgot. He's coming Friday. I have to make dinner for him. So Aaron is my husband's friend that moved away. And everybody is very sad for that. My kids pray for him every night whenever they go to bed. It's adorable. And anytime they see a black man, they think it's Aaron. Very funny. Anyway, so Aaron's coming on Friday and Saturday, I think. It's Sunday he'll, he's leaving? I don't know. Anyway, so Monday, 
my husband is off of work and we're going to spend the day together doing whatever last minute things. I need to pack a box for him to bring to me at graduation so that I can have my stuff at A school. Uh, because I, my A school is in Great Lakes, which is where my boot camp is at. And I want my things. Uh, Monday, my husband's off. We're going to spend time together. Me and him and the kids. Tuesday, I have to go check in with my recruiter for my 24-hour muster, I guess, check-in. And that will be around 2, I think. Um, and then I have to go check into the hotel, the Crown Plaza, right after that, I think. I have to go check in. And then I'll probably check back out and go spend more time with my family. And then go check back in and get a good night, good night's rest, rather. And then I will probably getting a wake-up call at 4.45, I think, and we'll, that's on Wednesday, we'll get a wake-up call at 4.45, go eat breakfast, go to MIPS, hurry up and wait there, and then, um, then they'll take me to the airport, and my family gets to come with me to the airport, they can come watch me swear in for the second time at MIPS if they so choose to. That will be fairly emotional too, I'm sure. And then they can go with me to the airport. And then I sit around there until my flight leaves. And then we get to O'Hara early. We'll probably be sitting there all day because they don't come get us on the bus for boot camp until like midnight. So Wednesday, next week, a week from today, it's going to be a very long, emotional day. Very long. I, when I joined the Navy, I decided I was going to do as much research as possible because I like to know about things that I'm getting myself into. Call me crazy. So I signed up for this forum, this website thing called NavyDepth.com, and there's so much information, and I know exactly what to expect, I know what I'm getting myself into as far as boot camp is concerned, I'm not really worried about it, except for the PT part, which I, the first, like, three months after I joined the Navy, back in June, last year, I was going to the gym every day, I was doing really good, and now it's not so much. But, I'm not too worried about it. My run shouldn't be too bad. Because I can run on a treadmill, I can get under my max time. That's all I'm really worried about hitting, like the first PT test is my max, or my min, my minimum time, my minimum push-ups, my minimum sit-ups. It's really all I'm worried about at this point. But I know that I can do better than that eventually once I get into shape. So, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Doing boot camp. Maybe boot camp. Good. Oh, I know what I'm getting myself into. So I signed up for this website and I know what I'm getting myself into. I know pretty much every day like what is going to happen. But like, it's a forum, so people go in there and talk about, like, the, go and ask questions, and people who have experiences, then they go and answer questions. So, they were talking about PR, which is the pass and review, which is graduation, and they've changed the rules just, apparently, in the past couple of weeks or months or whatever, past month or so, and you are only allowed four people to come to your graduation, period. Before, you had four seats, and if there was someone who didn't have people come into graduation or whatever, you could have their seats. But, from what I've been reading, that's not the case anymore. They changed it, so you can't do that. So, my youngest 
doesn't count. Oscar doesn't count because he won't be two yet when I graduate. But Thomas counts now. Even though he'll be a lap kid, he's going to sit in somebody's lap because that's just how he is. I would be more concerned about Oscar getting a seat because he doesn't really sit in laps very well. But, so, my husband counts. My oldest counts. Oh, bridge again. The baby doesn't count. So I have two seats. And I think, I could be wrong, that my mother-in-law is coming up with Anthony and the boys. And if she is, I would think, and I could be wrong, that her significant other boyfriend is coming up with her. I could be completely wrong. So there's all my seats filled up right there. Because they have, I mean, they've got thousands of people coming through there every day. So, or every Friday for graduation. So they don't have a lot of room. And it's very important to me. And it's a big, huge step in my life. And I'm sad that only a few people get to see it. If more people had wanted to come, that's great. You can come and see me after graduation if you would like. But I will not be able to see you before or during. I only have four seats. Okay. So, I don't know how long this video is. Probably too long to even upload. So, I will probably get off here. Because I will be at my recruiter's. I'm supposed to be there in two minutes. I should be there right at two minutes. But, oh, my clocks are fast. One minute. My clocks are fast. So, I will be there on time. I don't like being late. So... So, I'll be there on time, and I'll be there probably in the next three-ish minutes, so I probably should get off here. Whoa! And get there, it's been raining the past, like, week, and I hate the rain. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh, I hate the rain. Especially rain and, like, having kids. If you ever have to, like, get out and do anything. Oh, it's so... Blah. The kids are like, Mommy, we're getting wet. Well, yes, son, it's raining, but it's just, I hate getting out when it's raining, and it's been raining all week. And I usually am like a homebody anyway, but to not have like the choice to get out, ugh, I don't like that. I like having the choice of, yes, I want to stay in today, even though it's a nice day. Mm, I'd rather it be nice and get to choose to stay inside all day instead of it be raining and have to stay inside. But, it is what it is, whatever. And I'll be at my recruiters in two minutes. So I should probably get off here. Okay. For real, I'm turning it off this time. Okay, bye!